welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you Jackson's 18 month old update. It has been so long since I filmed a baby update like this. The last one was when he turned one. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to share everything that he's been up to. I have so much to tell you. And if you have a different aged baby and you want to watch one of my previous baby updates, go and check them out. I will link them all down below. I did a week by week when he was a tiny baby and then every month up until the age of one. So yeah, if you're interested to see what he was up to then, definitely go and check those out. And if you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around. I post three videos a week and I would love to have you. But yeah, today I'm talking all about Jackson. Obviously he's not in the video with me because he is running around and he is like full on like a little boy now. So he was not gonna sit with me during this update, but I will be putting loads of cutaways in of him uh, just to show you what he's looking like now, what he's doing now, what he's playing with, etc. I'm going to talk to you about how he's sleeping, what he's eating, what he enjoys doing. So yes, let's get into it. So I'm going to start out with how he's sleeping because I think when you have a baby that's quite a big important factor and I'm happy to say that he is still an amazing sleeper. He does so well. He sleeps straight through still. Um, he goes down normally at about 6.30 p.m. and he will sleep straight through till 6.30 a.m. if not later. Um, even if he's ill, he rarely gets up and needs us for anything. He's a really, really good sleeper and I feel very lucky. And if any mums are out there thinking, oh, you're so smug, uh, my first baby was really not a good sleeper, so I have been there. But Jackson just seems to really love his bed. Even during the day when he has a nap, he normally naps at about 10 o'clock or 10 30 he can't seem to make it to noon yet uh, but he'll normally go down about 10 and sleep for two hours and that kind of suits me at the moment because um, my middle son is at preschool all morning so I actually get some time to get some stuff done so yeah he's still a really good sleeper he's got a great bedtime routine he has just slipped into the routine that my older boys do um, so we normally do bath time at about 5 30 5 45 which sounds really early but he is so tired by then, it kind of wakes him up enough to get him through to 6.30. So yeah, we do bath then, and then I'm actually still breastfeeding as well. Um, but I do give him a big beaker of milk, and he will normally walk around drinking that from about five o'clock, um, and then continue to drink it like after the bath as well. So when it comes to me actually feeding him, it's like five minutes of comfort, really. Um, and I do think I probably will stop breastfeeding soon, but it's kind of been the easiest option for us. And I think if we're both still enjoying it, then I will just carry on. But I don't think he's getting like any major nutritional value from it because he is drinking whole cow's milk, um, but it is definitely like a comfort for him. In terms of food, he's still a good eater, but he definitely knows what he likes now at this age. So I wouldn't call him fussy, but he knows that he would prefer to have sweet things or the foods that he likes. He loves fruit, he loves cheese, he loves dips, like he loves breadsticks and hummus or cucumbers in like dips and he loves Philadelphia cream cheese as a dip. He's really good with sandwiches. He is really good with meatballs, like so I can give him spaghetti and meatballs and he will eat quite a lot of the meatballs and I find that that's a really good way to get um, like meat into him so he has like more iron and stuff. Um, so yeah, he's really good at that. We've done a lot more of baby led weaning with him which has been fantastic because it's the third baby I really like that I can kind of give him what the boys are having anyway and he can kind of like nibble on bits of that but the only thing with baby led weaning is now I'm trying to introduce like spoons and forks and I find that it has taken a bit longer or been a bit more of an effort than it was with my first two children because he's so used to just using his hands and like shoving it in his mouth now that I'm like introducing a fork um I think it might be a bit more difficult but yeah he's still a really good eater there's a few things that like he's now like no like definitely he wants less veg and more fruit um so we are having to like sometimes mix fruit and veg together to get him to eat that but I think that's pretty normal and I'm not worried physically he has come on leaps and bounds in my last update he was walking um all of 
of my sons has all started walking at about 11 months old. So he started then, but he is now running around. He is very good at like being steady on his feet. He's a bit of a climber as well. He loves climbing on furniture. Another major development that has really come on in the past six months is Jackson's speech. He is talking so, so much, and I don't know it's because he has two older brothers that are just talking at him all the time, but he has so many words that he says now. He says, Dada. Can you say Dada? Dada. Mama phrase for Caleb it's the most adorable thing he says KK or Kayeb um, he can't quite say Caleb yet but it's quite a tricky one KK KK <laughs> he says thank you if you give him something he will say car if he sees a car drive past if he sees a baby he says Baba um, he'll point to the TV and he'll say trolls or Peppa if he wants to watch something like that Peppa, Peppa. Um, but yeah, it, like I've just noticed, he almost like repeats everything that I say. If I'm like bath time, he's like bath, and then if I say, oh, what have you got? He goes, what you got? Like so, he's really talking so much. I feel like his speech is going really, really well. So I'm really pleased at how like vocal he's being. Can you say star? Yeah. If you've watched my channel for a while, then you will know that Jackson's always been quite a content, happy baby. But in the past few months, I've definitely seen another side to him, which is actually quite funny. Um, if we're at like a play group or a toddler group and he's playing with something like a car and another child comes up to him, he really sticks up for himself. If someone tries to take a toy off of him, he has no qualms at like hitting them and like telling them where to go. <laughs> so I call it the wrath of Jackson. Like he's this really sweet kid and he's so chilled out and easy but he also doesn't take any crap. Like he really sticks up for himself. So I guess that's quite a good quality. And it's probably just again, because he has two older brothers that are constantly taking things off of him. He has learned that you need to like hang on to things and like stick up for yourself. So I think it's a good thing, but I have been a bit like, oh, like I wasn't expecting that. He's still quite clingy towards me. He lives on my hip a lot of the time. So he's still my little shadow, as I call him. Um, but yeah, I haven't put him into any childcare yet, even though he's 18 months old. And I think that's just because with my two older boys, I had to put them into nursery because I was returning to an office. So now that I work from home, I haven't put him into any kind of childcare. Some days it's very difficult to get anything done, but I am enjoying having him around. And like, I know he's my last baby, so I'm just trying to soak him up as much as I can. I think when he's like two or two and a half, I will look at preschools and stuff like that, but for now, he's with me. In terms of the toys that he has been loving, he loves things that aren't toys like most babies. He loves a remote. He's obsessed with all of the remotes we have to hide them. He loves climbing, as I said. He loves playing with balls. He loves building blocks. Um, or play mags, we will build them all up high and then he loves to knock them down. He actually really enjoys coloring, which is so young to enjoy it because again, when his brothers are coloring, I will like color with him and he, yeah, he really seems to love like mark making, I guess that's all he's really doing at the moment. He has a little ride along fire truck that he really enjoys playing with. He loves water play, even if I just stick him in the bath as like something to do, like we've been stuck indoors a little bit with the snow. Um, so there's been a few times when I've just like stuck him in the bath with loads of toys and he really enjoys water play. He still really loves his cars and car garage. He also has a little Hoover from the Disney store and he loves like walking around pretending to vacuum with that. And he also loves a baby buggy and we've never really had a baby buggy having all boys, but whenever we went to this one little play group, all he would do was put this little baby in the buggy and then like walk around with the buggy. So I finally just got him his own one to have at home. So yeah, he really enjoys pushing that around. He is definitely looking so much more grown up and like a proper little boy now. Um, he looks so much like his brothers, but now he's definitely coming into his own. And there are some things about him that look so different. Like he's got this big, curly, dark hair. And both of my other sons had like quite fair blonde hair when they were this age and always straight. So he has got his curls from his dad. Matt used to have curly dark hair when he was younger. So um, that's really, really cute. And I've had to try and like learn how to care for his curly hair um, because I've never had a child with curly hair and I've never had like naturally curly hair. He also still has his big blue eyes. They are still really, really big. And I think that like 
is a difference from his brothers as well um, and people tell me that he's quite like slim which is like a really weird thing to say about a baby but people will be like oh he's quite like slight isn't he um, like he's not like a really big chubby baby but I think it's just he's he's breastfed and he's running around like all the time so yeah he's quite a slim build but yeah, it's quite a weird thing to say about a baby he still loves his brothers like absolutely adores them so much and they just adore him it's the nicest thing to see um, like siblings just like caring for each other and yeah they just love each other it's amazing he's very well traveled we've been on lots of trips since my last update we took him to Punta Cana in October um, which was a nine-hour flight again it was the second time we've done that and he was great on the plane I was a bit worried because he was a bit older but he is so good and he's just a very like chilled guy if he is full up and like has me he's pretty happy and if you follow my vlogs you may have seen that on Christmas Day he smashed his eye <laughs> when we were opening all of the Christmas presents he was just sort of walking around he was even very excited you could see um, but he tripped over like a present or wrapping paper there was stuff everywhere and he headbutted the fireplace and um, straight away there was like this big gash on his eyebrow bone and I picked him up and as soon as I looked at it I was like that needs stitches or help or something so it was 5 45 on Christmas morning and I ended up driving to A&E luckily because he's a baby and because it was Christmas morning it was very quiet and he was seen immediately they glued his cut and put like some stereo strips on it and I cannot believe how well it has healed in just two months it is completely closed it's just got quite a small mark on it now and it's right in his eyebrow so I'm kind of hoping that his eyebrow will grow like big and bushy so you won't see the scar when he's older or that it continues to fade because he's so young I've just been putting like a little bit of bile oil on it every night time and yeah it's it's healing so well it's amazing how well how well it's looking I was devastated when it happened I'll link the video down below of when it happened because I filmed the whole day and um, yeah you'll see how how well I took it um, but yeah in terms of me I know it sounds really silly to talk about me 18 months postpartum but I am finally back to my pre baby weight it took so much longer this third time around with Fraser and Caleb I was back to my pre baby weight before they turned one but with Jackson it took definitely a little bit longer um, but yeah I'm back now and I feel amazing and I feel like I've got lots of energy to run around after all three boys now so yeah I'm really really pleased yeah, I think that is it. Oh, the last thing, I've just got a note that says he loves to dance. He is obsessed with music. He loves our Google Home. And every night after the bath, he will go Google, Google, and we'll put on music and he will run around and dance around with his brothers. So he definitely is into like music as well so who knows you might be a musician one day but yeah anyway i hope you like this update let me know if you have any other questions like just put them in the comments below and i will reply and yeah i've really missed doing these little like update videos so maybe i will just do like a monthly chit chat about everyone in the family like just a general like monthly catch up because i think it's quite nice to like i don't know just talk about what's been going on and stuff but yeah he's still an amazing little boy he's just like i'm so proud to be his mummy and I just love him so much so yeah anyway thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye